early stages, Secretary of State Clinton was one of a number of people, including the military command of the U.S., who said, no, we don't want to do a no-fly zone. It's not going to work. So at a certain point, when enough people believe that, instead of saying, okay, then we're going to say no to the U.S. position, we're going to say no as the U.S. position in the United Nations, we're going to reject the British-French proposal for a no-fly zone. Instead, they said, let's make it more than a no-fly zone. We'll do much more. We'll do airstrikes. We'll do naval strikes. Then we can support it. So the actual language of the replacement resolution, which was, of course, then drafted by the U.S., not by the British and the French, called for all necessary measures. Mm. The only restriction, and it's one that is really in language and not in action, says there will be no foreign occupation force. But as we all know from Iraq and Afghanistan, you can have an awful lot of troops on the ground fighting in another country and not have it be acknowledged as an occupation. Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our program available free to public television stations coast to coast. If you would like to see our show on your local public television station, please give them a call and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders. Thanks.